So tonight is a Teoshpe night. Teoshpe means extended family, and we do this every month. A department in Laura Sioux hosts a family dinner. It's a good way to share what's going on in each department, what is available, uh, upcoming events, and then also to highlight the things that we've been doing. Identity. For the kids, uh, we use culture as prevention. I'm kind of here wearing two hats. I'm a community member, so I'm here, you know, enjoying the evening with my family. And then I'm also here presenting on the Children's Mental Health um, case management services that I offer. What the Tribal Near Science and Community Wisdom Project is really at its core, it's all about building self-healing communities. To really take a look at the problems that our communities are facing, and rather than just treat the symptoms that we're seeing, really get at the core. Adverse Childhood Experiences, otherwise called ACEs, is being used um, in communities to address trauma that communities have experienced. ACEs are often seen as a precursor or a risk factor for health outcomes. So some of the ACEs that I'm aware of are abuse, neglect, um, and other experiences like if a parent is incarcerated at any point in your childhood, um, if there's drug use that you were exposed to, if there's domestic violence that you're exposed to. So you could get a score from 0 to 10 and the higher your score the more likely you would have heart disease, early onset diabetes, um, lung disease, and that sort of became our way of working, is we share the information and then we partner with people who are passionate about it and bring their own wisdom and their own community's wisdom to it. The more people know this, the more people understand how our brain is impacted by early trauma, the more pe people have, are empowered to act. And what we've really seen in this work is when community members start to understand ACEs, it's really a spark and they see that spark and address it and say, now what can we do about it in our communities? We really want to acknowledge Minnesota Communities Caring for Children with this Trailblazer Award. It's been their work that has been partnering with communities and talking about ACEs and bringing this information and really working with communities to determine so what, what's next, what shall we do together. Since 2017, um, our staff and kind of our team and um, the presenters that we've trained through the Collaborative Project have reached over 10,000 people with this information. We see the impact uh, in the communities we're working with and the relationships we've cultivated. Uh, and for more people to know about it and, and to hear the good things that are happening in our communities we're working in, to have a platform from which we can share those stories, that's been the most rewarding part of this work. We're actually revitalizing a lot of art programs within our community, and so it's connecting our elders and our youth together. Art is very um, soothing and um, healing, so I think those traditions like pottery, beading, um, quilling, those are all great traditional things that we're trying to bring back and help with the healing process. I was proud to see our, our community kind of rally behind it, like education and knowledge is power, so you know we know that we have these challenges and then now we can begin to work on them. You have to heal everything to be healthy, not just you know your body physically, so healing your mind and your heart comes along with that. My A score is what it is, my parents score is higher and my goal as a mom is to you know make sure that my kids don't have A scores. We don't know what this will look like next year or two years down the road, but we have an agreement that we're all going to continue to address ACEs for the health of our communities.